five minutes, not DBZ standard time. Three, two, one, go! Winners, finals. Nick C playing Captain Falcon, fighting off against Jen, who's Marth? Question mark? So Jen definitely has a Lucina that he has messed around with, but I guess maybe he's testing out the Marth in this matchup? I feel like he'd honestly want Lucina over Marth, just to, because Lucina doesn't require, like, expert spacing in order to, like, prevail, compared to Marth, who relies solely on that tipper. And that's something you want to do against, like, fast characters, right? Like Captain Falcon, but maybe... You know what? He got the tipper right there, so... He's thinking about something. So Marth's entire game plan right here is to just, like, uh, keep Captain Falcon at arm's length. Hit him with the tipper, with the sword, and not let Nick get in. And that's exactly what Nick is displaying right now. Go for the double forward smash. Trying to catch that landing with an up air. Goes off super deep. Good on Jen, saving his double jump. And that valuable resource to get back onto the stage safe and sound. Getting a lot of grabs off here. Trying to mix him up. Oh, misses the second swing of neutral air. Super deep for the... Oh, gets caught by the Falcon dive. My word. Sometimes when you go off deep like that, you know, it ends up blowing up in your face. That's exactly what just happened to Jen. Now with Nick with the advantage. There's a lot of dash dancing into just a most random Falcon kick. Not as safe as it was in past games, you know. It can't, it doesn't, can't go through shields as hard. He was waiting for an air dodge. Oh, but now he's out of jumps. And he's find his way back down to the ground. Did he just down air through the platform while he was standing? My word. His legs were pretty much the platform didn't even exist. Catches the Raptor boost at a last ditch effort to get back onto the stage with a back air. But now Jen's sitting at 94%. Falcon Kick not going to get the kill just yet. Goes for the grab. Waits for it. Good edge guarding coming out from Nick. Just goes for the Falcon Dive. A great command grab to catch people holding shield on the platform. A lot of time people will feel safe just holding shield up there. But sometimes you get characters that have command grabs that can do the mid-air, such as Captain Falcon or Bowser. You have to be wary of them. Again, we've seen Nick land that over and over again, just reacting strongly with those down tilts. In case he rolls onto the stage, connects the neutral air, and now he's one stock away, taking home first game. Want the Falcon dive again. Jen's chasing. Nixie opting to recover high that time around instead of trying to go low. Whips the dash attack. Jen is going to run in there, connect the grab, just trip him a bit. Goes for the stage position instead. Good bait on that counter. Waited out for it. Nixie has been prone to be super aggressive the second he finds advantage, so it wasn't the worst option in the world for Jen to go for a counter, but it can be very risky. You leave yourself wide open. You might as well just be whiffing a smash attack. Again, going super deep. Get spiked. Good placement coming out from Jen. Awkward Raptor boost, not gonna be able to catch Jen Airborne. And trying to dash back and forth, just goes for the, that, that dash attack looks a little bit accidental, especially when you can tilt out of a dash as Marth. You never wanna go for dash attack. Again, Nick going way too deep with that final stock. My god, avoids the force smash, connects it into a knee off of the down air. All of one whiffed forward smash. It's crazy how, like, in Super Smash Brothers, they, like, increase the volume on Captain Falcon's victory theme compared to all the other victory themes. I, I actually don't know why Nintendo did that. I'm also not sure why, like, th there's like a glitch in the game where it plays a second time. The heck, like. Ooh. Wait, hold on. No, 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 go back. Okay, this is a good song, too. I, I was kind of feeling Route 10. Honestly? A 
Okay, let's jump into game number two. Sticking with the Captain Falcon. He angled that down when he was coming from the air. And now he went for the back air. So now he's dead. Cool. That was the stupidest. Okay. Whatever, Nick. You just do you, bro. You're the one winner's final, so you, you you can throw out those raw falcon kicks all you want. Stop it! Are you real? All right, Jen. We're doing a lot of dash dancing back and forth, but I, I guess he just doesn't feel confident with the Palutena against Captain Falcon. He goes for the neutral air out of shield to catch the spot dodge. A good attempt at the spike. Not gonna be able to connect it. Turns around the Dolphin Slash at a shield. A very good burst option. Pretty sure that was a tipper because he went flying off of that second swing in there. Woo! Yo, catch that Raptor boost. Got a lot of, uh, I'm just seeing a lot of swings coming out from Jen just trying to like put like these dangerous obstacles in the way of Falcon. Oh, it's just a swinging sword. If Falcon's gonna have to respect it. Down tilt. Oh, he's thinking about it. You'll notice that a lot of the time, Nick will just be ducking for the heck of it because it gives Falcon a little bit of a low profile. So it allows him to be able to avoid certain aerial attacks. Okay, you know, trying to go for that down tilt again. Connects the second swing of neutral air. This could be an edge guard. Oh, a little bit too slow on the neutral air. Does not matter. Kills him with the gentleman's. Now we're going to two stocks to one. D just sent him flying with the tippered forward smash. One stock apiece. Now what's crazy is these are the two players that I honestly believe were going to be in grand finals last week. But it both ended up losing. So it it's, it's, it's cool to see them work their asses off to get to this point in the next weekly. Leveling up. Oh. Gets the grab. Trying to get that down tilt to try to two frame the Raptor boost. Nixie hungry for the spike. Gonna be able to narrowly graze him. He had to let go of shield because J Ned Jen actually went for the shield breaker. And Nixie. Getting a little bit of a SD action going on there. I cannot afford to lose. Is that what his English voice sounds like? I don't like that, dog. He can't afford to lose. I can't afford to listen to that. Yo, can we switch it back? Can we just switch over to Japanese real quick just for this set? Like, my word. You're telling me we could swap Marth and Roy at Japanese, but Cloud still says what Genkai? What was that? No, dude. Ew. How are they going to give How they give my boys English voice actors, but Cloud, Cloud Strife, ex-soldier, who has an English voice actor, is still speaking Japanese. Does he say I can't afford to lose in Japanese? Because I want him to, Honestly, yeah. Because I want him to be like everybody. Look at me. Yeah, me not. Me too great. I am the greatest or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. speak Japanese. What? I actually don't. Game three. Woo! Oh, catches that approach with an up tilt. Seeing a lot of tippers coming out from Jen. Putting Nixie into very tricky spots. Hoping to wake him up with that down tilt. Just gonna go for the raw falcon kick. Hits him with the dash attack. Going super deep. Gets the classic. I mean, that's what that's what Nixie wants. Takes the trade. We take those to GameStop. Get back that three dollars. Let's go. Okay, rapid jab. Attacking on twenty damage. Trying to apply pressure with that down tilt. Down air. That shield was looking super small. Triple up airs once more. Down air into more up airs. Down air being a, such a strong move puts his opponent into so much hit stun. Oh <laughs> Yo, who is this joining me on the mic? Hold on. Who is this? You already know who, who it is. is. It's your boy. Who is this? <laughs> it's the kill sign. Oh my! 
<laughs> Yo, Ligma? I'm really still in bracket. I have Ligma. You have Ligma? <laughs> Yo, Jenna's God. getting washed. Damn oh my it! God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so um, welcome to the mic stage. Welcome to the mic stage. We got Nixie, Rock with three stocks, about to just blow up Jen. I mean, this it's is not looking. Okay, oh, watch. It hits wait, him with one nair. Wait. It only takes one nair. It only watch. takes one. One nair. One nair can save his life. No! Oh! That didn't matter. I mean, the, I mean, the down air almost. Did uh, you know that the down air is actually plus on block in this game? Yeah. It's mass spooky. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to just hot dodge it, though. I don't recommend spot dodge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one nair. I told Yo, you. <laughs> oh, never mind. One nair to rule them all. Hold on. He got the one nair. Momentum is on his side. Ooh. He's going to swing at him. Mm. <laughs> Get him. Jen is about to give him the Slugma, right here. <gasps> <You're> committed? <laughs> Run-up Epto is actually mad good in this game. But like, if you're at like, this high percent, oh my god, that really works. Get trapped. <laughs> he might be dead. Never he, mind, oh, oh you're coming high! Dead. No taxis. That's that, no, was that was untouchable. Yeah, yeah, that, it was going way too fast. That was, uh... That gave me Strokma. What's Strokma? Because everybody, <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting matchup. I've never, I don't know if you guys played last week. Wait, I just thought about what we're about to witness. This is gonna be, we're gonna oh be here God. for. Oh no! Yo, can we play a commercial? Did you see the water push that nade? Look how small scene. This is hell. Well, this is a matchup we've never seen they're before. Both, this is literally a Pokemon battle. Oh my! Only they're, they're both, all the platforms they're, they're too. Both throwing, fuck, oh they're my both, God! They're, they're throwing objects. <laughs> oh, he's he stuck him. him. He's dead. It's oh, over. it's on his face. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's it's the fact that it, uh, Sage actually told me if he could stick the C4 to himself, like just put it on his chest, he would do it. Did he transfer it? He did. Yeah. What's your shield doing, son? Yeah. I mean, you have to go for the shield or Yo, like something. Yo, that hydrant is like I'm out. <laughs> oh. I, I wonder if Sage even knows this matchup. <laughs> God, this is gonna be a long one. Oh yeah. And we got this music. This, <laughs> me and Sage are talking about this music. It's like it gets so it escalates so quickly. It's a mess. Like right now, it's, it's a mess because of the music. It feels like it's last stock right now. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> but I, it's like, like both of them are sweating. We still just, asked six minutes ago. Yeah, both of them are sweating really hard just to get the first stock, and then if you lose a stock in this music, you feel terrible. Oh yeah. yeah. Um. So oh, throw him into the hydrant. Oh. So I'm shocked he went right. So a total of uh, like 100 damage total in the first minute and 10 seconds. Yeah. That's not a that's that's an okay ratio. That's that's this matchup, dog. It it, it, it is like a war of endurance. Yep. So I mean, yeah. uh, Sage is in kinda, uh, and I guess he's willing to trade nades right now because I guess he just looked because I mean his kill options are probably better. But that looks like an input error. Yep. Being um being snake off Sage against Pac-Man is probably not that fun, you know. Yeah. Honestly, especially because he's got like all his projectiles, he can throw the uh -oh. hydrant at him. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Uh oh. I mean, oh, just like, stuff. dude, just like every other matchup, I feel like Snake's gonna want to have to recover high. Snake's a big boy though, so this is like, this is, they're both sweating right now. Oh, oh, God. Oh, whoa, chill. That was narrow, that was narrow, that was narrow. He's, He's got, got the key. We got some miss inputs. Hear it. What? Hey. He vacuumed them into it. Oh, oh, oh. This could be big. He's got the C4 oh. sticking to him. Oh, this is he just gonna do it? Is it on him? And I, I, th I think it was, oh no, no it's I it's see it. Oh, it fell, no. it fell, it fell, it fell, it fell. Where did that go? I hate that armor so much. That makes That's me so mad. That makes me sick. Uh, ooh, 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 re grabs. He doesn't even have oh, a neck. Oh, oh, where are you going? He doesn't even have a neck and it's broken. <laughs> he didn't even need the C4. Just the fear that the C4 was on him probably just made Sinji worried. Now we're back to the platforms Pokemon battle. Oh. So, um, what about. Four minutes left. Yeah. Both. I mean, to be fair, it yeah. took less than two minutes for the first stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I feel like if they both start camping it up, we could very well see a timeout, which... Oh, Hydra? No. Oh. Yeah, I feel like attacking the Hydra might not be... It might have, it's not proven sufficient so far, but I mean, you know, gotta get rid of it. One thing I've noticed is that Sinji is more prone to go for grabs in this game than in the past one, because it's actually a functioning... He can grab through the Hydra, too. Yeah, I you saw, saw that. that. I got body. You got, <laughs> he caught me off guard. I mean, I knew he could do it because I see it before, but still... You know, when you've been watching Pac-Man for three years in Smash 4, yep. and then you see it now, it just it just blows it, your it's mind. It's jarring, still. and yeah. no one expects it now because of all yeah. the matchup. Ooh, ooh, got a narrow. Okay, Pac-Man off stage. I mean, I'm wondering what Sage is going to try to do here to like keep him off stage, but it's nah. like nothing apparently. 
He's gonna try to spawn that grenade. Because a lot of the times that when uh, you'll see Sage's snake, he likes to go for trades a lot. Like, he doesn't mind when he takes the damage from his explosions as long as his opponent also takes damage. Z drops the apple, snake being a heavyweight. Yeah, Top 15 heavy. Ooh, that would have been crazy if he threw him up into the apple, but if he spawned too quickly. Sinji knows everything, man. He's a Bible. Yeah. I mean, Honestly? I mean, you know, an encyclopedia, so I should say. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did he stick him? Oh, oh. oh he ended up dying to it. A freaking Sage. Suicidal maniac. Yes. Snake. Not Sage. I guess Snake, but. Just Snake. Okay, committing to dash attack. Didn't, didn't pay for it, so that's good. Cracked the non existent neck. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, uh, no. Held too long. Okay. Minuscule damage for that one. Or tilt was a good idea. I respect Got the that. hydrant and back. Oh, oh, is he gonna get over there? That was actually a really good escape from Siji. Planting the trampoline. <laughs> Grenade on the trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Sinji choosing this stage is super smart because he can camp central all up in that platform with a with a, a, a trampoline right in front of it. I'm shocked Sage agreed to it. I mean, it probably wasn't aware. Um, it's definitely like a now I know kind of thing because yeah. it gives him the like. Oh, he's sticky. Oh, no, never mind. Don't blow it up, Sage. Um, like that, that platform is like the necessary real estate to really camp it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Try to go for the oh. oh wait. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he wanted the up tilt. That gets me so hyped. <laughs> I, I get so. What are you sticky? the opponent. Yeah. Because Snake's like a pissed off grown man, you know. Yeah. Just putting explosives <laughs> on Pac-Man. <laughs> Used to be older. Oh. Oh, there was cooldown. I'm up tilting the bell. I think he tried to pick it up because you can pick it up with tilts, you know. Yeah. Um, but I guess you. Ooh, too far away. Yeah, too far away. All right, so since you're pulling away with this one. Um, yeah, there's only a minute thirty left, and he still has to take a stock. Oh yeah, Sage is in. He's, is, I don't want to say shambles, but he might be in shambles right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, he caught him throwing the grenade, still living, but I don't know what he could do at this point. Oh, he got this. He got, oh Jesus. Yeah. Christ. That <laughs> That was definitely a shamble side B at the end. Like, he left himself wide open for... Uh, Not gonna lie, still a little... Still more entertaining than a Wii Fit Pac-Man. No, oh, yeah, 100%. Because, you know, it's... Wii Fit versus Pac-Man makes me want Because they have, like, different patterns of, of where they throw oh, their projectiles. Yeah. You know, so it's like, it's, you can see the thoughts happening. Um, and then when one of them gets close and one of them plants an explosive on the other one, it gets, you know, it's like, you know, a little hectic. But it's like, where is that C4 gonna go? Yep. Um... <laughs> So let's see if Sage is going to break out any, any second. I know he's been thinking. He talked about how he has a co-main. And I asked him who it was. He says, I don't wolf. know. It's probably a wolf. Uh, oh, I mean, Fox McCloud. I, I was telling Sage. I told him last week. I'm like, Sage, you could probably just top three with fundamentals in Fox alone. And he I doesn't think, like how Fox feels, though. Yeah, but he's still good. you know. And, yeah. Sage, and Sage is a madman, so just do it. And uh, I think he snapped. Um, this so. is the matchup that, like, Sage is... But, like, he usually beats Sinji in Smash yep. 4 with Fox against Pac-Man. Yeah, and I mean, I'm no Fox man, but I feel like, you know, a lot of, maybe, I don't know about his setups or his vortex, but it feels when I play against Fox, it's kind of similar, you know? Yeah, and there's debates going on right now where Fox might be one of the best spaces out there, better than Wolf. But, you know, it's all it's yeah, still like week two, so yeah, we don't yeah. know what exactly is From that wide not. selection of free spaces, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I know, I, know. I, guess, I guess, you know, people like Falco, but yeah. you know, these two are mad good. Um, so, I mean, percent lead. Getting hit by fruit, but still not too bad right now for Sage. Um, losing to, to up airs. Yeah, and Fox Lucian isn't able to go through shield as That anymore. knockback was a goofy. Yeah. That's also something else that uh, Fox has in his ah. repertoire against Pac-Man is the reflector, the shine. I get so nervous when people are in shield near Pac-Man. It's scary, dude. Oh, no. So, Sinji does like hitting... Uh, oh, that was an input error! Magic hands? Okay, saves him. I think he would have caught it. I don't think so, man. I mean, I guess those are magic hands, but... Yeah, he's got... He's pretty low. My man's father is Houdini. Okay, let's see what Sage can do to punch this Hydrant. Throws him. Is he yeah. going to deal with Hydrant? Yeah, I mean... That was the weirdest hit. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a delay. Oh! Oh my goodness. Clank him with the, with the up tilt. So similar to what happened earlier when Sinji was playing against... Um, who, whose wolf was it? Uh... Maybe Dark Blues? Dark Blues? Yeah, yeah. Um, reflecting, reflecting the fruit is not like proving too sufficient because Sinji just grabs it and then Sinji loves holding his off of the items. Yeah, you know? it gives him access to Z-Drop it. Exactly. He's got the key ready to go. Oh, he... You see him narrowly avoid that? He was like barely above the key. And we got... Yeah, Sage, yeah, this is This is like dangerous though because Pac-Man has a lot of like... Up. Down Smash? 
He, yes. He has a lot of down smash that would take that stock. Alright, 1.7% lead for Sage. Yeah. Well, that was just kind of a free punish for Sentry. He blocked yeah. off the lower path, so forced Sage to recover high, you know? Fox's jab is the silliest animation. In the I love that. Oh, no. What did he do? Okay. He was in a really bad spot there for a second, since you could have capitalized. Good back air. Good back airs. Air out of shield. Jet, punch him right in the mouth. He looks like a boxer, dude. There we go, just keep going for the jab. Very safe option. Apply sufficient shield pressure too in case it, uh, you get caught on the shield. Trying to pop him up with the down tilt as well. At this point, he can easily get like an up tilt into back air. He's searching for it. First up smash we've seen so far. Yeah, um, on the hydrant to boot. Yeah, some people just can't stand it. Uh, the hydrant? <laughs> okay, so back air and Pac-Man stands there happily. Um, and then gets back aired. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Sage, Sage is mixing a bit right now. He's going to get some extra credit because it's going to be a little while before Pac-Man kills unless he gets like a bell uh, smash or some... Ooh, ooh that was, he was, it was on its way. Scared, scared. Yeah, like Sage really doesn't... Oh, oh, he almost rolled right into it. I don't think the hitbox was active anymore once he shielded it. But oh, I, right, right, I yeah. could also not know what I'm talking about. Um... <laughs> I mean, the, not only did the shine, you know, stall his momentum and reflect the projectile, yep. but it was it put at a point where Sinji actually couldn't re-grab it. <laughs> oh, he was standing on the hydrant. You can't do that. Okay, Pac-Man's grab exists again. Uh, oh, is that jumps? No, 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 no gimpies. Ah, what? Okay. Damn. So Sinji just takes the lead with like. 20 million Ooh. buttons in two seconds. Did you see Sage go for that tick throw? Mm-hmm. Okay, rapid jabs. Emotionally even, I'd say. Ooh. Poking oh. with the pair. Don't see the double four. Ah. Oh, oh god, he's in a bad spot. Okay, uh. Oh, oh, we get we get back to life. Oh, he Yo. got back to the stage! Yo, that drift was crazy. How is Sage alive? Ah! Avoids the bell at 123. Uh, Pac-Man Alleged is so scary sometimes. He's just sitting there. All right, Sage. Oh, that was all smash. Good, good, good chase by Sage. Out of the, the Nair out of shield. He's trying to bait out a ledge option. Right, it's going to be very scary for Sage. Sitting at 130%. The apple could potentially kill oh, if you're oh on the man. edge of the stage. He's going for some setups right now. Yeah, the apple. Oh, oh, he parried the fire hydrant. Oh, he's gone. He, he tossed him. He Kobe'd him out of the game. And Sage out of the bracket. Sage is dead. He's he's dead, Jim. He anime parried. I cannot believe how so, anime yo, that, Pac-Man that, that, That's super respectable because like if that was me, uh, and if it wasn't Pac-Man, sure, mm -hmm. um, I would not have turned around. I would have been like grabbing in the wrong direction. Because that's, that, that's like hard in this game sometimes. Yeah. Especially on like week two, he, I guess. He was, he was yeah. Sinji, Jen loses finals. Um, bringing out the Palu against Pac-Man. Again, you know, he got another character that has the ability to reflect projectiles back, but like you said previously, yep. does he actually want to do that? Because Pac-Man can just re-pick him back up. Yeah, I'm not sure if they played this last week, but uh, I know I know since you did play Palus last week and he succeeded, so we'll see what's up. Good down tilt. Jen, Jen getting in there right now. Oh, almost got a second swing on that hydrant. Oh, he's, he's in there. Oh, oh my. I mean, that's how Jen wants to play the matchup. That's what, you gotta, that's what you gotta do against Pac-Man. Just lurking, get in his face. That lurking F-tilt? That probably covers like a handful of his options off It ledge. lingers, dog. That's a lingy right there. Uh-huh. Uh, explosive flame not going to hit. Down tilt not punished. Reset the nooch. Yeah, literally all of Palu's tilts just stay out for a mad long because they're all spins. Some ooh airs coming in. Get some good damage. <laughs> uh, reflects. It goes, it goes to heaven. Yeah, I was going to say. It just she sent it I, thought, I thought it was coming back down. Yeah, me too. Um, I think Sinji thought so for a second. <laughs> everyone, he, he paused. Literally, no, literally <laughs> everyone thought. Um, Maybe despawn. Uh, no, I definitely went to heaven. So Sinji getting the damage back really quickly. Turn around F tilt. Um, that's crazy. Uh, down tilt, popping him up. No raw bear. Nairzy is not going to hit. So off stage against Sinji. Break out the Bibles, but he's back. Oh, it gets mixed by that last swing of Nair. Sinji's util he's utilizing Pac Man Nair so well. Like, oh my. Yeah, he just hit through everything. Like the out of shield spike. Uh? Oh, okay, he didn't want to go for it. We were gonna get a trade. Yeah, he's trying to go for the back air instead. I remember you trading that in your set. 
yeah, that was I needed that. Yeah, um, it was a good trade. Homeless on top of the hydrant does not feel good. No. Uh, especially at, the, at that percent. So let's see what Sinji got here. We're gonna do some, some crazy setup, or we're just gonna get hit. I ah. mean, at this point, Jen just needs some neutral air. Oh, no, too high. Yeah, yep. there. No, yep. he can easily yep. get that back air. Yep. Sometimes I feel like uh, some pack would go for the the up smash, but mm -hmm. it's always a little out of reach. So he was at 160. So Sinji like bouncing around like a madman. Are you real? He got away with that. Turning losers finals into a circus Did and they? getting some damage. <laughs> One of those uh, kid trampolines. An airplane. Dog. Okay, we're getting some Uwears in. Nothing, nothing else. But so all of Palu's F tilt takes out Hydrant. It's funny because he got away with that trampoline because of the platform in the middle. Yep. Allows him to 50 50 guess where I'm gonna land. Yep. You know, Autoradical is just kind of like a thing just for free damage in case it lands. Yep. Definitely, definitely. Oh, catches you. Good up, Smash Man. Sinji's like, he always saves these smashes, and they usually hit. Like, he's so on point with catching landings or jumps into platforms or something. But, okay, so. Good fair is getting damaged. Now is the hard part, because Sinji with a stock lead is scary and exhausting. Yes. Him and John sort of share that, you know? They're really good at holding their leads yep. for long periods of time. Yep. And now, you know, he kind of has a huge emotional advantage as well as a stock lead. Um, emotional advantage. I, I just you keep saying that. I love it. it it's true. Like it is. Like ment be, mentality is a thing. Like down percent doesn't mean everything. Uh, Boeing. Nope. No punish. Going for new grab. Not punished. Some fruits. I'm thinking about going for a. I mean, at this point, Jen just playing. Oh gosh. Yep. Couldn't break the hydrant in time. Jen might just be at too high a percent to be able to honestly bring this back. Good bear. Oh, he's going to blow up. Forces the air dodge, but missed time the down air. Yep. And does, oh, F tilt oh. doesn't take it. Oh, we'll walk, Where we'll walk are in. you going? Uh, okay. F tilt not taking it. We're going to walk I think it's again. decayed at this point. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, almost got scary. killed yeah, by a hydrant. Mm -hmm. Plus ah. shield pressure. Forces Sinji to retreat. Catches Jen pushing buttons. Jen just chilling. You can tell Jen's getting a little over antsy. Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. What was that exchange? There we go. Okay, we got a, we got 143 percent. Yeah, it's like this so, might be a little bit too late yep. to gain some momentum. He needs a lot of momentum because you can't really gimp pack what that well, you know? Yeah. And he got the parry on the apple, but parrying projectiles. Oh yep. my god. Yep, he's living. That's that's honestly surprising, but he's living. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Another he, apple, dude. Apples are just so good at like the huge amount of yep. huge amounts of knockback that come afterwards, and allows Sinji to be able to dribble it too. You know, so like that's why he does the up throw yep. because he's able to just dribble it and mm -hmm. have this active hitbox in yep. place. And, and you know, I feel like this is the like natural progression of Sinji's you know trampoline combos into Apple from Smash Four. Because like he grab is good now, so you can just grab and just like shove him in the floor, and then the apple lands on them. You know, um, it, it's almost as if Pac-Man having a bad grab is what made him balanced. <laughs> now he's OP. Now he's OP. Now we got to ban yeah. this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sinji, you can continue playing Pac-Man as long as you don't push the Z button. Or a, a, a and shield. I wanna, I wanna talk to whoever chose the barnyard theme for Smashville because I'm not, I'm not having this song. Like, I can't stand this music. I, I liked it in the beginning, but the the banjo part, like. When the banjo comes in, I'm like, nah, son, I'm out of here. Uh, but you know, they probably weren't just thinking about it, but. Uh, it's random. Yep, pretty even right now, right out the gate. Uh, it doesn't matter who gets to close out the first kill and then build a lead. Um, so he's throwing out some raw grabs. He, he, he's gone crazy with power, power hungry, dude. He's never been able to just throw a grab randomly like yeah. that before. Oh. Got my uh -oh. 87%. Oh, uh, Jen, like careful. And we're at Legend and Sinji with a bell. Okay. Catches him rolling. Ledge pressure's mad good, man. I respect it. At least he doesn't have that now. Oh, never mind. Ah! Oh, no. That up smash? So you saw the DI line, like, yeah. in the Frozen character model? That was super interesting. I don't remember seeing that in Smash 4. But maybe just the effect is different. Uh, yeah. A YOLO grab, but you can YOLO in this game. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Two grabs. You know, trying to toast them. Not, nothing there. Nair. Nair is definitely not as effective in this matchup as it, as it is in a lot of Palatina's matchups. Um, yikes. 
that it was a very dangerous situation. Oh, and he's got the bell ready to go. Ah. Uh, uh. Ooh, Ooh, the fingertips. Literally, just the long blasting hitbox. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, no toast. Yeah, forcing Sinji to use his jump, though. Sinji's too aware to get hit by those right now. L lingering yeah. forward tilt. Long lasting hitbox, dog. Jen, once again, just like the previous game, takes away the first stock. Yep, Let's see yep. if you can hold on to it. Get some, some, some fares there. Oh, That's you cannot slow. grab that ledge. Ooh. Ooh. Two, two, two Yo, frames? Jen? Okay. Oh, yeah, you get, a lot of work exactly. for 50%, but yeah. a good 50% because the stock is. So. And it's still going. Mm -hmm. Toast them? Nope. No stage control from Sinji just yet. Practice I feel like we're watching a completely Ooh. different game. Yep, yep, yep. Yo, Jen is turning up. Hold up. Yep, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, let's see if Sinji does regular get-ups, though, yeah. Uh, Devin was feeling too many tilts at him. Uh -huh. Hey, Sinji finally landing a blow. Ah? Uh -huh. We gotta be aware of that. Oh, Ooh, take that apple back! Uh-oh. That's spoiled. Ah? Uh -huh. tilt. It puts it in place? Okay, yeah. He, uh -huh. he was definitely fiending for that uh, neutral get-up. No, he DI'd it wrong, I think. Yeah, that, that, um, he DI'd in. Maybe it was a DI mix-up, I don't know. Yeah. There we go. Jen sitting with three stocks. Yep, turning it around, getting a parry just for just for swag. Um, so he's feeling it right now, dying to up air, but like damage has been done at this point. Like, yeah, he has a whole stock to get extra credit. Um, as long as he does, doesn't get too antsy. Yeah. Um, Jen just has to play patient at this point. Apply pressure when he can, yep. but not like you know jump off stage or anything. Yep. Like, yep. Easily just stay grounded. Yep, definitely. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a key and a hydrant. See, so yeah, up being to center stage, didn't, didn't get punished for it. That's good. I, it was a mix-up. Yeah. You know, because yep. that, that'd be like the last thing Sinji thought he would do. Yep. Pack grab exists. Gotta respect it. Oh, okay. Good. I mean, when you go for the warp, there's like so many different directions you can land in. Yep. But if Sinji calls it out, you're dead. Here comes the banjo, so let's yeah, see dude. who turns up to the banjo. Uh -huh. middle, 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 middle. We'll, we'll see who's the actual Midwesterner here. here. Um, so, oh, nice fin finally catch. gets the light and get a ladder? No. Uh, I mean, might as well try it. Yeah. Oh, oh. he thought I was going to spot dodge. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we're down to the stock. Sinji can rack up some damn damn really quick. Mm -hmm. Uh... So let's let's see if he can do it. Like all he needs is like one or two fares, and then a, a tech chase, and then all of a sudden we're tied. Um, but Jen looking to not make that happen right now. Just throw out some lingering tilts, oh, getting yeah. his object snatched. Oh, Whoa, he got comboed by it. Ah! Be careful. Okay. Sinji, he likes getting comboed by it. the projectile so hard. This down oh tilt, my lord! That down tilt doesn't care about anyone. It's it lingers or anything. If there's anything I've learned is that Palutena's tilts stay out for a year. That was a good confirm, man. He had the time. He had the, the the mindset to turn around, double jump back air. What a man! What a madman! The tilt. Yeah. Yeah. Like I it, it had a lot of hit stun afterwards yep. too. Mm -hmm. I mean, down tilt's just already like a really good like two frame move on the edge. But yep. it also pops you up for you to get like whatever follow up you desire. Like. Uh, I wonder if down tilt is actually a lingering hitbox or if it's like two separate long hitboxes. Because I feel like there's like different hits on it. But someone, someone in chat, let me know. We'll have uh, to ask Kurig on a hammer later. Um, okay, so we're in, we're in nighttime, town and city, hazardless. Um, I haven't seen town all day. It looks nice. Yeah. Um, doesn't mean I'm not sick of it. But oh so, yeah. So Cindy has these platforms now um, that are you know like. They're displaced a little bit off stage to the right and left, so he similar can, to Kalos. Exactly, only a little bit higher, I guess. But yeah. So, so I assume Jen banned Kal Kalos. He wasn't having that anymore. So, I mean, we're. Oh, is this Hazard's on? Oh, have you never? No, is this Hazard's? Have you not played on town? No, I never play on town. Oh, is this Hazard's off town? The platform so platform's still just, moves. Just, just yes. Show up? Okay. So the second transition. There's That's, three, there's three so, transitions. So it happens on the Smash. It doesn't happen on Smash World, but it happens on town. Well, they come back in, and now it's a new layout where the platforms are completely off stage. So it's even worse than Kalos. Oh, I'm just going to strike this stage and not bother. Yeah, um, I, I don't like the stage, honestly. Because the, the platforms don't move, so they just stay in very terrible spots, I know. Oh, so, Whoop. jump with the lead right now. Lead.com. Let's see if he can down tilt. 
down tilt. Down tilt? Ah! That's so. Oh my god, that's Wait, so one more effective. time? One more time? Okay, no, but pack at ledge and shield scared. What direction are we going? Trying to go for DI mix up. Yep. DI'd correctly. Down tilt late or early. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, the backer didn't come out in time. He's too close to the ground. Dash attack. He's gone. That shield, dude. Usually used for defense, but yep. man, she is uh, swinging it. Yep. So, I mean, definitely not a reach SNG. Um, he can rack up percent and get kills. Um, but if he gets an airplane, oh, I guess not on Pac Man, but um, leading some follow ups. Auto reticle. Waiting for him to get back down, catches him as he spawns the hydrant. That was a good ooh air. Trying to light him. No down tilt. Oh, he got a forward air out of shield. Nice evasion. Grab, yep. mm -hmm. Again, popping up with the down tilt. Very good stuff. There out of shield, too far away. Got some nooch right now. He just did so much damage to that Hydra. Uh oh. Go for the bell. Uh oh. Jen's still sitting at all three of his stocks, so see if this guy closes us out now. Oh, the re. Dang. The re grab almost catching him on the roll. Light him? We still have the explosive flame just to force him to respect. Yep, Sinji got the DI down now, but it's still scary. Oh, we went too deep. Okay. All right. Good catch. 102. Doable. Yeah, Sinji turned a bad situation into a... Uh, Never mind. Okay. Into another bad situation. One stock to two. Jen, one stock away from moving on to Grand Finals to face off against the legend himself. Shut up. All right. Uh, so Pac-Man fairing. Uh, going for a Gimparoo, but it's not working out. Um, looking for a stage spike or something. I think Sinji's starting to like run on fumes a bit. I think he's trying to get a quick kill before damage racks up. Uh, uh, reset the new chip. He's holding on to that apple. Not sure he get. He wouldn't get too much off of it at this low percent. Mm -hmm. Wait for the water. Good idea. Yeah, the reason he waited for the water is because. Oh my God. Ooh, smash. Uh, down to. Nope. <laughs> hey, he's gonna get tossed instead. Yep, yep. Look out for that bell. Oh, he's trying to trap him. It could have been a free grab. That's why Jen opted to go for the jump, just to escape the entire situation. Yeah, finally Nair hitting up. Okay, so Order. this is, seems to be getting away from Singe because, oh, we're getting tased, but I don't think we're getting any. Nah. Nothing coming out of it. Too delayed. Forward smash on the Hydra, not getting him. Out of shield options, nothing hitting. Okay, Jen, oh. oh. Singe, like, I don't know if that was on purpose or not, just to avoid the down tilt. Good oh. grab. Can't Back shield on. in front of Pac-Man. Yep. Scary. Key is ready to go. Jen's going to be holding shield a lot, waiting for Down the uh, throw. setup. No back air. Yeah, good DI from Oh, Sinji. he's going out there. He wants him dead. Ooh, good tech. Ah. What is happening? He didn't expect the trampoline. Yeah, yeah, yeah he definitely did. And like, okay, it's okay. So the Sinji got it. Sinji got the stock. And I think key. Um, okay. Okay, yep. chill. So this is, uh, I'd, be, I'd start sweating a bit, but, you know, just got to be careful. Don't get too hasty on anything. All he needs to do is keep him off stage, yep. connect the down tilt, get the confirm yep. off of it. That's all he needs. Yeah, down and tilt into the back. Yep, forward air. Didn't even need to reverse it. Good there set. you go. Jen taking it over Sinji, the last Zeno champion, going home with a third oh, place yeah. finish. Oh, man. I I wouldn't want to have to play Sinji to make him like not get a two in a row. Yeah. Because you know, I would have felt the pressure. No, okay. uh, pressure. But now you just got to beat up Jen. All so right. he's just uh, there goes Nick C. He's off to go play grand finals, guys. Remember, guys, one last time, if you want to, go hit that uh, young follow button at uh, Zeno. We, we, got, we got tons of links going on. I can't find it there. Seeing how Jen went Marth because he it was just worth a shot because he lost with Lucina the previous week. And he says Marth can sometimes put people on tilt. Nick did not fall for that dose. We're going to go into Pokemon Stadium 2 with the classic music playing up for us. I feel like one of the weaknesses that Palo has is just the fact that Fast characters can kind of overwhelm her. Yes. You know, she's just like, oh, look at all this space I create. And it's just like, that's a nice fireball you got there. Too bad it's behind me. 
Yeah, you'll see that's exactly what Nixie wants to do with the second fastest character in the game in terms of ground speed. Ooh. So right off the gate, right out of the gate, Nixie is just not letting Jen have any of this stage. Completely knocked off to the left side, and that is it. Ooh, gets the down tilt, sending him flying. He's trying to catch a roll onto the stage with that up smash. A little bit too far away for that jab to actually connect to the neutral. He just goes for the most Hail Mary Falcon Kick. Not enough to get the kill just yet. Oh, that was a free back air. But was already going for the already committed to the empty hop. Oh, he caught himself a little bit too soon in the air. Up tilt, putting him up there. Has to air dodge to avoid the supposed to flame. Gets caught by the forward air instead. Falcon dives his way into that first stock being deleted. Okay, gets all the swings of neutral air. This is an actual training mode combo. Hold up. Neutral air into neutral air into neutral air into neutral air till, until they die. Until you run out of floor space. Until you run out of real estate. Okay, Nixie, back to resetting the neutral. Just runs right in there with the dash tag just to open up that zone a little bit. Oh, he caught him jumping. Up smash. Summon the light, sending Nixie into the blast zone. Avoiding all these aerial attacks. Look out for that staff. Applying a lot of pressure against that shield. Great spot dodge, avoiding the grab. Spot dodge is actually being an effective tool in this game against grab. Neutral air into neutral air. He's doing the exact same thing that he just happened to him earlier. Down air. At this point, if Nixie lands a down air, that's probably leading to a kill. And that's exactly what Jen sees is coming, which is why he's throwing out the up tilt. Gotta be prepared for it. Second swing of neutral air. Potential edge guard. Wants to just push him off. Now he has him on the edge of the stage. Avoids explosive flame, leaving Jen completely vulnerable to that grab. Catches the teleport with a down tilt. Nick, one stock away. Take him this first game. He's just going to air dodge right through using the directional air dodge to get back onto the stage. Applying a lot of shield pressure with these back airs. Double back air once. Try to follow it up. He was trying to push that advantage so far with that Falcon kick. Sitting at 111. They both holding grab right in front of each other. Up smash. Great use of the missed tech onto the platform. This is why Jen is actually a fan of this stage. Rapid jab. Deal the damage. Push him back. Try to go for the forward smash because he recognized that Jen was going to land right in front of him with just a hair too late. Up. Air into knee. That is a Smash 4 combo if I've ever seen one. Nixie taking away game one from Gen. One game away from winning Xeno 140. My man is on a mission. And what's crazy, I already mentioned this before, but I, I, I was assuming that Nixie versus Jen was going to be the grand finals of the Xeno last week. But now it is it is come to fruition this week. And also, I was the one that was thinking Nixie's going to win last week. He ended up getting fifth place, but now this is his time to shine in the hot seat one game away. Hopefully he's not feeling the pressure as Jen's going to swap over to Marth. He just could not deal with the rushdown that Falcon was establishing onto his power. He went to play a certain game, but now a change of pace. Let's go to outer space. Got the tri-plats here with a little bit of slopes as well. Different kind of layout coming out here. Now, compared to Smash 4, the stage no longer tilts anymore. He just called that out. When Nick just lands a Rodney like that, you know he has a crazy amount of momentum. Back air. He just went off so deep for that neutral air. Nick taking away the first stock away from Jen. Just rolls right through him to get some mad damage. A little bit too close. That might be a little uh, some stage unawareness coming out. You're a little bit too close to the edge. The Rabbit Jab not to work out. Goes for the Falcon Kick instead. Raptor, uh, Falcon Dive being a great tool. They're holding their shield on the platform. It's a command grab. They can catch the midair. He uses jump. There it is. He actually saved it that time. Jen trying to play the keep away game with this Falchion. 
Oh, Bears. So this entire time, Jen's trying to get Nixie airborne. The constant barrage of all fairs and up tilts, but Nixie is just establishing such a presence that he can't do anything. Kills him with the down tilt one stock away from winning with the Falcon himself. Can he possibly end with a three stock? Okay, avoiding the down tilts. Waiting to make his move. Wanted to go for the forward smash a little bit too late on that. Probably should have opted for a down tilt instead, a quicker burst option. But definitely wanted to solidify that kill. Gets the shield break. That's a kill if I've ever seen one. No reason not to go for the shield breaker fully charged. And Jen putting a point on the board. Dash attack. That was a little punishable. Jen a hair too late. Probably should have just gone for a shield grab. Goes for the up air, has very little landing lag, especially with the shield pressure on top. He was able to connect that up tilt afterwards, but Nick C landing these neutral airs. It's the grab. Patience. Connects it up tilt on that left platform, but Nick C is starting to jump and hover around all three of these platforms. Trying to play this waiting game. Up tilt, up tilt's abound. Oh! Try to get that up there. A little bit too much damage for that to actually connect. Jen hanging on for dear life because he is bleeding. 114%. Nixie looking to finish it off. Gets swung away with that sword. Jen needs this edge guard right here, right now. He's going for big plays right now. Up smash, shield breaker, fishing for this kill. Okay, Nixie dancing on the platform as well. Jen just stays on the grounded. If he connects that down air, that's gonna be the game. Rapid jab through the shield, wants to go as long as possible. Good, I mean, that's actually a good option for Jen, even though he's a little bit hair too late. Doesn't get the, oh! Dolphin slash off of the tech. The thing is still in Falcon's favor. Swung the wrong way, gets Gentleman into outer space. Nixie taking it with a 2-0 victory. Your Zeno 140 champion. Is that guitar riff? Congratulations to Nick C, taking home the gold in dominant fashion. My word, I felt like there was almost like a no contest for him. Nick C, he's you know 140 champion. But congratulations again to Jen for making second place a lot better than his top eight placement last week.